So here is Sharpie at Rocking Horse. Again, his first show of the season. Uh, he was a little bit on edge, so I just had to kind of work him around a little bit. He is heading down the center line for the intermediate test as well. Working on the straightness. And then coming down to the trot at I. Kind of lost my haunches a little bit to the right. And then coming, preparing for the shoulder in at R. Again, because he was just feeling a little tight. I was having to do it a little bit slower. And then working into our half pass. He's funny because, uh, again, this is a new test for the year. And Sharpie uh, really thrives off of kind of knowing where he's going in the test. And because this is a newer test, he can sometimes be a little worried if he doesn't exactly know what's coming up next. So he can be a little bit of a different thoroughbred because oftentimes they can anticipate like um, my old five-star horse, Johnny, but I can never practice the test on him. But Sharpie really likes to kind of know what he's doing. So again, it's a okay um, shoulder in, just a bit of tension. And then um, here is a good example. You can see the haunches were leading first. I needed to bring the shoulders around first and uh, to keep those haunches from uh, leading. So I lost some points on that half pass. Now we're coming for the medium trot. Again, I'm going to do posting. And this has been probably the hardest movement for uh, Sharpie to learn to understand that it's not fast. So we're still a little fast, but uh, it is improving. Really nice walk transition down. Working on the medium walk. Now we're going into extended walk. He's doing pretty good here taking the contact out. Sometimes he can get a little um, wiggly, but he actually has one of the better walks of all my horses. But again, because he's a little tight, I couldn't quite get the overstep that I needed to get the really good mark for that. And then coming into back into your medium walk, making sure I stay active so he doesn't think that we're cantering yet. And then into the canter. It's a pretty good transition. And then we do a medium canter, R, and then to the half 20 meter to E. I was pretty conservative. Again, just because I am being mindful of the uh, tension that I have. Into the walk transition. Pretty good. A little sticky. So again, he's just a little tight. If anything, I could try to push him a little forward, but I'm just trying to work on relaxation. So now coming into the serpentine. He gets a little nervous right here because he's kind of thinking, oh, I want to do a lead change. But I had to be like, no, we're just doing a counter canter serpentine. And then really using uh, the corner a little bit there. Try to help me. And then again, I have medium P, then to the half 20 meter circle. And, and like I said, because it... I have a little bit of a tight horse. I'm not going to really push for too much there. Into our canter walk. Really good down. And then he just lost his focus a little bit. So picked up the wrong lead, which that was a shame. And again into our second serpentine. a little bit better. The right lead is his stronger lead as well. But overall, I was pretty pleased with how 
Uh, he handled the test. We come to the down transition trot. And finishing up here, we do a half 10 meter circle and halt at G. As we come through, I prepare, ask him to halt. And we finish up pretty nice and square. So overall, it was a nice enough test. Um, and then again, because it's the one day, heading into show jump, we had a really good warm up. I actually couldn't get him to take a rail. And then we managed to get the first rail. <laughs> um, he swapped off a little bit right before, so caused a little bit of the hind end to drop lower. And coming to the next, again had that. I'm thinking, come on, sharps. And then I balance up here for the vertical. And then it was right after that, he just took a deep breath. And then he jumps the Swedish really good, kicks out behind. And this was actually a pretty tough line to ride to this uh, double, but he did that really well. And I just think he started off and had a little bit of some tightness in the canter. You can see now he's jumping really well. And then coming around to this outside double. Jumps that really well. And I opted to not really bend this out, just ride that in the six. And then coming to the last line, which again is kind of a, a longer ways to go, so keeping the quality of the canter. Unfortunately, took that last rail, but overall I was really happy with how he uh, jumped the middle parts of it. So then on to cross country. Uh, thankfully, some people uh, took videos and sent to me, and he was really wonderful around cross country. We went for a nice lope around, but uh, this lets you see some of the combinations. So here I'm going to dial him back a little bit. This is a downhill to the chevron. He just pings it perfectly. And then coming around to the last two, Again, just letting him kind of lope through. It's really fun. Uh, he's feeling him much stronger this season and um, feeling really confident. So really happy with our first uh, one of the season.